Hi, I'm John from Offroad CC, and this is the 2021 Carrera Fury. It only costs £600, and I reckon it could be the budget bike bargain of the decade. So it's got an aluminium frame, there's a 120mm fork up front, and it rolls on 650B wheels. All that's pretty normal for a bike at around £600, but there are a few details that set this apart from all its competition and make it a bit of a bargain, on paper at least. When you're buying a budget bike, the devil really is in the detail. While it's not uncommon for a bike at this sort of price to have a 120mm travel fork, the Fury is set apart from its competitors in a number of ways. First up, it actually gets a proper through axle, a 15mm through axle. So that means that it holds the front wheel much more securely, uh, it's much more rigid, that means better handling response, you know, you can really lean on its corners and it's just all round more secure. It's a better thing to have. You don't see that on some thousand pound bikes, never mind one that's 600 quid. The next thing is that it uses an air spring. While at the other end of the market, the chat is always about coil springs and how much better they may or may not be, at this end of the market, you want an air spring. Coils are hard to adjust because basically you need to take the entire coil spring out, get a new one that's right for your weight and put it back in. Whereas whether you're 65 kilos or 100 kilos, you can just adjust the air in this and the bike will ride properly for your weight. Also has a little lockout, can't say I ever really use one. Uh, and all in all, it's a very good little unit. It's also great to see that this bike has got a single ring drivetrain. That means that there's only one shifter to mess around with, which is much easier for beginner riders to understand. That's matched to a spread of 10 gears at the back with the Shano Dior shifting system and a 11 to 46 tooth Sunrace cassette. That 11 to 46 spread means that you've got loads of gear range for getting up hills or for pootling along on the flat. In fact, it's ideal for the sort of trail bike that this is supposed to be. When I said the devil is in the detail, I really meant it. Take this for example. Now, a lot of bikes at this price will use a conventional inboard bottom bracket, e.g. one without the cups here. However, this has got a proper outboard one, like you'd see on a much more expensive bike, admittedly paired to uh, fairly, fairly cheapish cranks. But the difference there is that this is substantially lighter because um, there's a much thinner axle and therefore less metal. And of course, weight on a budget bike is your big enemy. So. That's a really nice touch. The quality spec choices continue with the cockpit kit. So there is now a 45mm stem, which is nice and short, and that's paired, certainly on the larger sizes, to 760mm wide riser bars. And the eagle eye may notice that this isn't just any seat post, it's a proper dropper seat post. And also, it's got a bar mounted remote. That is really impressive to see on a 600 quid bike, because these often rail about, retail about £100 on their own. So another good little spec. Here's another really good example. These are WTB Trail Bosses, and that's a pretty good tyre from a respected brand. Often on bikes like this, you're lucky to get something that's round and black and has nobbles on, whereas this is a really good tyre. So there you have it. Carrera's done an absolutely amazing job with this bike. They've managed to pack in some really impressive kit for not a lot of cash. Anyway, I will be giving this bike a full test ride fairly soon and then we'll have a full review up on the site. But in the meantime, uh, you can check out our Carrera 2021 range overview, which has all the bikes in our range and there's some other really impressive value bikes in there. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and for more of this sort of thing, consider subscribing to our channel. I hope you've enjoyed this. Catch you soon.